turn at our first question. Now, I'm going to go back to completing the square after we finish these questions. But if you've got questions, that's good. I'll go over them, then I'm going back to completing the square. All right, so here's the first one. Let's see, that's 19, that's 23, and that's... Okay, it just happened. Oh, my gosh. Who do you think you are? Yeah, using technology in class. Okay, that's 11, 23, and 19, so we'll do 11 first. Okay, first of all, is it a test question? Yes, it is a test question. And I'm going to be honest with you. There's a lot of students that spent 12 years in school, and they don't know how to do this. So if you've had this question before, don't feel pregnant because it actually is a very common question. Okay? That's Mr. McClure. You should say all the time. So if it offends somebody, I, I'm sorry. Mr. Hubert. That's what he always Mr. Says. Hubert. Yes. Um, can you please send us your whiteboard? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a good thing you. That was what it's saying. That was Pendleton campus. They wait till like five minutes till 10. There we go. All right, I'm sending it. The reason I wait is because it's better to send the presentation when everybody is in the class, and that's why I was waiting. I always try to wait, and Pendleton, evidently, they're just going to watch the video today. I'm on. I want to. I want to keep checking just to make sure they're not coming in. All right, write the question down. I'll make it a little bit bigger for you, so y'all can see it in Oconee. How's that? Is that better? Yep. Thank you. I can see clear. Okay, they're still not there. It's still yeller. Well, yeah, he was rabid. Oh, yeah, let's keep him around the house. He's, he's just foaming at the mouth. All right, so let's take our handy dandy dang old Cujo and dang old want to keep him around. Okay, what is this? This is the vertex. You will use the vertex. You will plug and chug on the point. Okay, there's two parts to this problem. One, you have to use the vertex and the you got to use the, the the intercept method or the standard equation to plug in these numbers to find. You got to use these numbers to find your formula. Then after you find your formula, what do you do? You plug and chug, and your goal is to find or calculate for what? A. That's the three steps. That's the only one not given, exactly. So it's kind of like finding the slope, except it's got two more steps. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in. But you got to remember, my, my, what is my vertex? My, what is my x of my vertex? My x of my vertex is negative 3. That means that in the formula, it's got to be a negative 3 or a positive 3. Positive. It's got to be a positive 3. So I'm going to rewrite P of X equals A times X plus 3 quantity squared minus what? Now we have our formula. I feel like I'm about to formula. Because I did that even before you got that. Good. Formula. And you know why you did that? Because you're used to me saying the opposite of this and the opposite of this when you find your vertex. That's why. If you, anyway. So now, what? Okay, sharing is caring, okay? I just feel smart. Okay. Well, that, that's good. You know what? Who knows? You might change your major. Okay. So what are you going to do? You're finished with the negative 3 and negative 4, so let's cross that out. Plug in the X and the y. That's it. So 143 mm -hmm. is equal to A times 
4 plus 3 quantity squared minus 4. Okay, finish it. This is a test question because if you go into business, if you go into business calculus or regular calculus, you will be doing this. Unless you decide to, you know, lower the bar and pick a major that, you know, female global studies, parks and recreation. What are you doing now? Oh, I'm a manager at Hotel Express, Holiday Inn Express. I make seventeen thousand a year. We are our decisions. Always remember that. Besides, there's always one. And the Russians, and the Russians are to blame for everything that doesn't go your way. Bernie's gonna take care of us. And Bernie's gonna take care of. You. So, what is 4 plus 3? I'm going to get my calculator out. 143 is equal to A times 7 squared minus 4. And that's going to give us 143 is equal to A times 49 minus 4. And that's going to be 143 is equal to 49A minus 4. Now what? Add 4. Add 4. And that will give us 147 is equal to 49A. Now if you want to get your calculators out, but let me ask you a question. How many times will 50 go into 150? Three. So how many times do you think 149 is going to go into 147? Three. Three. You don't need a calculator, so don't reach for it. 49, 49, so A is equal to 3. Now I can take that 3 and I can plug it in right there. And am I finished? No, because it's going to ask for a quadratic. AX squared plus BX plus C. That's what it's asking for. So you've got to change this into a quadratic, which is technically step four. So I'm going to leave that on the board for a couple of seconds so if you, the one person that watches the video can watch it and pause it there. And I'm going to erase this because I don't think I can move it. No, it's going to move the whole thing. But let me try this and move this down. See if that will work. Yeah, that, that'll work. Okay, so now I've got P of X or F of X, I don't care what it is, F of X is equal to 3 times X plus 3 quantity squared minus 4. Now what is X plus 3 quantity squared? Shortcut number one, Hubert. That's right. So that would be f of x is equal to 3 times x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 4. Now what? Distribute to 3, Hubert. That's right, class. f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 18x plus 27 Minus 4. Now what? Uh, 27 into minus 4. f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 19x. I'm sorry. 18x plus 27 minus 4. And that is your final answer. And I'll, be guarantee, I'll guarantee you there's somebody in here that's never seen that before. Or here in Oconee, one of the two. Because, why? Well, one, it takes a lot of steps. And two, you have to use what? Critical thinking. You have to use your brain.
And that's not coachable. You can't coach this. You can't do this regurgitation. You have to think. Okay, so let's do another one. Because, why we want to do another one? Because it's a test question and because I, you probably haven't seen it before. So I'm going to type in the answer. I'm just going to type in a three. Let's do three. And let's see what they get. Three X squared plus eighteen X plus twenty three. And you feel good about yourself. Huh? Yeah. All right, y'all do that one. And that way if you miss it you can just leave. Yeah. I'll blow it up again. While y'all working on that, I'm gonna check on the Pendleton campus again. Okay. Because we don't want to leave them out. No, nope, they're not there. They just didn't show up. What are y'all talking about? Let's see what the flavor of the day is today. Blueberry muffin. <laughs> My last bar, I gotta order some more. I ordered for I ordered from Amazon. That way they probably come from BFE, Japan or wherever. Oh, you got 296 and 7. Maybe. But I'm glad, you, whoever sent this question, I'm glad you sent it because it's a good question. And not only do you see it in engineering, you see it in business math also. Because... It's always, in business math, always remember, you've got to be able to find the equation of a line, whether it's a linear or nonlinear. Because what do you follow in business? Starts with a T. R, E, N, D. Trends. No laughing in class, please. Oconee, settle down. Okay, I'm I'm officially declaring Pendleton as losers. I'm not going to try anymore. I don't know, but I don't know, put this up today. They probably don't look at it anyway. There's only one person who does that. Whoever that one person is. But if I didn't do it, everybody would say, you know what you ought to do? You ought to upload these on YouTube. Dave Blinken said, you can please some of the people all the time and all the people some of the time, but you can't please what? All of them at the same time. All of them all of the time. Blueberry. What's the density of this? About the same as lead. Or the court. Here we go. So we know that we have a negative x. So that means f of x is equal to a times x plus 3 minus 4. 296 is equal to A times 7 plus 3 minus 4. I'm going to skip a couple of steps. 10 squared is what? 
296 is equal to 100A minus 4. <clears throat> Bring the 4 over. Oh my gosh, you not need to get your calculators out for this. 300 is equal to 100A divided by 100. 3 is equal to A. And now, plug and chug, f of x is equal to 3 times x plus 3, quantity squared, minus 4. f of x is equal to 3, x squared plus 6x plus 9, minus 4. f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 18x. And what is 27 minus 4? 23. Is that the same answer? They must have just gave us a different point. Now you should feel good about yourself because that's a question that is not easily answered. Uh, that was answered through blood. That was easy. Like that. Believe in like this. What? What do you believe? What? I don't think. I don't think like you ever talk. I mean, I learned. Like, I feel like we learned how to get to the vertex. Yeah, the vertex. But I, I very, I very. When I teach college algebra and business algebra, which is the 109, which I teach both of them. I get every time I always get this question and I always have students for those of you that's not talking while I'm talking for those of you that's not talking while I'm talking I always get students that have problems with this because they've never seen it before so it's just from past that I say that okay next let's go to the next question and I don't know which question that was was that one that was 11. Okay, now this is 19. 19. Oh, yeah. This is not a test question. I wouldn't ask this test question on the, I wouldn't ask it on the test. Because it's tedious. You use the shortcut, but it's tedious. Okay? Now, the, the what you do is you square the function. You got A plus BI. Okay? Square it to see if it's equal to I. First of all, let me tell you why you do this. Okay, I gave you the rule about I the other day, but you always need to remember that I squared, yes, the square root of negative one is equal to I, and I squared is equal to negative one. That right there, you have to remember. So everything with I is based on square. So if you can change it by squaring it, then you might can do away with what? What do you do away with the square when you square something? You do away with the radicals. So the first thing you want to do is square the whole term. Square root of 2 over 2 plus square root of 2 over 2i. Two I'm going to square both terms, and now you've got shortcut number what? Number 1. So I'm going to put uh, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And the reason students get this wrong, two reasons. One, they don't put parentheses because they don't what? They don't need parentheses. Okay? The second thing is they forget this rule right here. So I'm going to plug and chug. Square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2i, two and square root of 2 over 2i. Two now I'm going to go through and solve. What does this square do to this radical? It dissolves the radical, but what does it do to that 2 on the bottom? Makes it what? A now I'm going to re I'm going to rewrite all this, but basically, what happens to this two and this two right here? It cancels, and you're left with the square root of two over one. 
times the square root of 2 over 2i. Plus, okay, what happens to the 2 and the, what, the square and the radical? They go up, they go away. And what's 2 squared? And what's i squared? i squared. Now, I'll highlight that i squared because that i squared is equal to what? Negative 1. Negative 1. So we're going to take and we're going to do 2 fourths plus square root of 2 times the square root of 2 over 2i plus 2 fourths times negative what? Now, what does that negative 1 change that 2 fourths into? And what does the negative 2 fourths and the positive 2 fourths do? Cancel. Cancel. Okay, what is the square root of 2 times the square root of 2? 2. And what's 2 over 2? And you're left with i. So it does equal i. Now that's nothing but an algebraic drill. Now the reason people are rusty is because one, they don't use the parentheses because they don't need them. And two, <clears throat> they forget the i squared is equal to negative one, which takes away two parts of the equation. You also have to remember that square root of two times square root of two is square root of four, which is two. And two over two is one. So that's the calculator drill. It's, I mean, not a calculator. It's an algebraic drill. It's fine for homework, but I wouldn't test you on it. Yes, ma'am. I have no idea what it asked, but I'll go down here. What does it say down here? It, does it have 15 different? Oh, I'm not doing all that, but, well, I guess I have to. Square root of 2 over 2. Let's see if we can't. And this is going to be 2. Oh, my gosh. we got to put all that in. Let's see if I can copy. Control C. That it will let me. Nope. Oh, there it goes. Times times again, control V, and then I. I don't know if they want us to simplify it or if they want us to plug they, and chug. They, they want to simplify Okay. Where does it say? Do? Okay. So hit check. Excellent. And then this, I'm trying to see. Okay. All this cancels to I. This cancels to two fourths. 2 over 4, and this cancels to 2, this goes to 2 fourths, and you can do 2, doesn't matter because they both go what? Cancel. It says simplify, so that would be 1 half, and that's 1 half. What they're doing is they're showing you what I just did. That's what they're, they're trying to explain it. So that shows you how people do not know how to do this problem because they're not asking you to do the problem. They're asking you to actually what? To go through and do it because a lot of people don't know how to do it. They're not just asking you for the answer. Now simplify the third term. I squared is equal to what? Is it confusing the way they do it? Yes. You have to read it. And a lot of people don't know how to read. I mean, look at my handouts. People still haven't read them. All right, so. Part of them. Yeah, whatever. Okay, now, finally simplify the expression. What's negative one half plus one half? That cancels, and you're left with what? Hi. 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 R. <laughs> and that's what they're asking. Is it equal to I? And that should be your answer. Just try again. Try again. Try again, huh? Try again. I think you got it. Oh, oh.
No, that's another question. It's the same type question. I don't know why they're giving you a... Okay. Like I said, make sure you can do it for homework, but I'm probably not going to test you on that unless I don't like you. No, I don't like y'all. And this is the last one, which is 23. Is it a test question? Yes. Why is this a test question? Because in calculus, whether it's business calculus or... You can't have a radical in the denominator. Okay? So what is that I? What is I? Square the square root of negative 1. So there's a radical in the denominator. So they want you to, I think, they should, the direction should say rationalize the denominator. That's what it should say. I'm going to rationalize the denominator, write the quotient in the form of, I think they want you to rationalize the denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now you got to remember those two rules. So I'm going to multiply what's called the conjugate. 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 The conjugate is the opposite operation. So 9 plus 7i over 1 plus i. I'm wanting to get rid of the i in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by 1 minus i over 1 minus i. The conjugate of 1 plus i is 1 minus i. Now I can't multiply by just 1 minus i on the bottom. I have to multiply by a factor of what? 1, which is 1 minus i over 1 minus i. Now that's going to set up the FOIL method on the top, but what is it going to set up on the bottom? Shortcut number three. A plus B times A what? Minus B. You're not going to get away from those shortcuts. Not until after after not until after uh, statics and dynamics and thermodynamics. Yes. Okay. What did you get this one minus I you just took the opposite operation of one plus I. If that was one minus two, the opposite is one plus two. If it was 1 minus star, it would be 1 plus star. That's the conjugate. You use the conjugate. You're getting rid of the radical. The shortcut number 3 gets rid of the radical. You're going to see that in just a second. Trust me. All right. Go ahead. Finish it. Do the FOIL on top and do the shortcut number 3 on the bottom. Now, if you have to, write everything out because you might need to do that to see what's actually going on. Or you can do like most guys do and try to do it in two steps in between the blue lines of your notebook paper, which usually ends up in disaster. So the FOIL method, I'll do the first one for you. Nine times one is nine. Okay? Outside, or if you're from around here, outer, is negative 9i. Inner, or inside, is 7i. And last is negative what? 7i. Uh-oh. Let's take our handy-dandy highlighter and highlight that. Over. One plus i times one minus i is one squared minus what? I, I squared. That's shortcut number three. And of course, take our highlighter out. Okay, now I want you to rewrite the next. Doing what? I want you to combine the two middle terms and then what? Change that to something and then simplify. And you should see your radical or your I term in the denominator go what? Away. Did you just see it? They're drunk. That's, that's bourbon in that bottle. There you go. Dang old brandy. 
The keto makes your clothes fall off. Oh, that's a song. Y'all ain't never heard that before. No, I've heard that song where it just does the key. Okay, so nine is nine, so you can't do anything with that. What is negative nine i plus seven i? Negative. 2i. Because you treat i as far as solving system, as far as solving, or, or, I'm sorry, as far as simplifying terms, you treat i just like you would an x. And then minus 7 times a what? A negative 1. There you go. Now I'm doing this step by step because that's where students mess up. They try to skip steps. 1 squared is 1 minus. And what is I squared? It's negative one. So now I'm going to drop down to the next step. Nine minus two I. And what's negative seven minus times a negative one? Over. And what is one minus a negative one? And what's nine plus seven? 16 minus 2i over 2. And then what happens? 8 minus i. And now you just simplify this cluster down to what? Something simple. Well, that should be the answer. That's what I'm going to ask you for. Now, they may just ask you for the conjugate. I don't know what... The directions here are not very detailed. They're kind of vague. So they may be asking for just that blue part right there. I don't know what they're asking for. I'm going to type in 8 minus i because that's what you should be able to do. 8 minus i. And it needs to be in the form, yeah, 8 minus i. Yep, that's what they're wanting. You want to do another one? Yes, yeah, this is a test question. There you go. It's kind of the same, but the top is different. So go ahead and do that one. I'll blow it up for you. There you go. Everybody's here and everybody's at Oconee. So I just have to say that the Pendleton campus didn't show up. Well, they probably they'll they'll have an excuse. And as long as you have an excuse, that's all that matters. No matter what kind of bad decisions you make. Oh shucks. And if you make bad decisions as a teenager and you end up in a bad job, you know, paying Bernie's going to take care of you and pay you $15 an hour so that way you don't try to improve yourself. Bernie does. Why should I go and learn a vocation or learn a degree or, you know, why should I improve myself when I'm making $30,000 a year as a cash register? Bernie does. And I was a cash register at Walmart person. I was a cash register person. Well, actually I worked in Sporting goods. They, they, they put me back there because I wasn't allowed to see people. So they put me in the back. Yep. I was a little bit rough back then. Not as polished and refined as I am now. I wonder if these are real blueberries or if these are manufactured polymer blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't taste them, so. Alex, you should call these protein taffy bars, is what they should call them. 
I'm going to let y'all finish because I'm confident that y'all are winners. No, I lost. Okay. Who's Georgia play this weekend? Let's look it up. Oh. oh, that is ridiculous. They're playing Georgia. No, the door is locked. Are you? Now, a lot of people say, well, Hubert, do you think the students did that? No, not at Pendleton. Remember, this this kind of this kind of uh, class, we're not supposed to have this at Truck County because this is technology. <laughs> Why don't they go get some of the keys? Are they just standing outside looking through the thing? No, they just texted me, so I give them an A for effort there. But what gets me is. I did predict that, didn't I? Yes. They, they, when did they text me? Let's see when they texted me. They texted me at 9.15. So I just have got Just watch videos. Just watch videos. We made fun of y'all. I just did the finger. Finger was almost a casualty. Disaster. That is. <laughs> I'm not going to address it right now because I'm pissed. Don't ever address anything when you're pissed. Because your tongue is double edged. Yeah, it never turns out well. Okay, so let's do this one. Plus, we ain't got but 10 minutes left. We only have a 30 minute class. So let's go ahead and do this one. What is the what is the conjugate of one plus i? So that's going to be one plus i and take the one minus i, one minus i, and that's going to give you five. Let's see. Please, the the sound effects is getting on my nerves. Okay, five i. That's going to be a negative five i plus nine i, and then minus nine i squared. Y'all check me. Yes. Sir. Over one squared minus i squared. I'm going to try to skip a couple of steps. So that's going to be 5 minus 14i plus 9. Check that. 5 minus, no, not minus 14. Plus It'd be four. plus 4i. Four plus 4i plus 9. Yes. Over 1 plus 1, which is 2. two. And 5 plus 9 is 14. 14. Thank you. 14 plus 4i over 2, and that's 7 plus 4i. Now, I want to make sure, 7 plus 2i. I want to make sure you understand one thing on this. You can type in, there's nothing wrong with you saying 2i plus 7, but some computer applications, some standardized tests, 
we'll mark that wrong because this is the standard form of writing I in a term. So you need to make that note. There's nothing mathematically wrong with this, but that's like saying on a test you can put two fourths, but the real answer is what? One half. They will mark this wrong. Same kind of deal. They want it in simplest form. So now I'm going to let y'all go because I'm not going to try to cramp uh, complete the square in, in in about three minutes. So y'all have a good day, and I'll see y'all at the next 30-minute meeting, which is Friday. And y'all have a good day. And hopefully Pendleton will be able to join us. I ain't kidding you. This, I'm so irritated. The door is locked.